Is Jesus God? Also, I want to add on to that. Uh, is Jesus God? And if he is God, where in the Bible does it state that he's God? Very good. John chapter 8, verse 58. Whoa! Jesus. Yo, you shot from the hip! <laughs> I am so jealous that you could do that. <laughs> so that, I just want you to read that verse for yourself. Jesus says, Before Abraham was born, I am. Now, the Jews did not call God G-O-D. The Jews called God Adonai. Yahweh. Oh, I thought it was Adonai. Yes, also Adonai and El Shaddai. Those are different names for God. Got it. And one of them was Yahweh, which is the Hebrew verb to be. I am who I am. There was no misunderstanding. The Jews picked up stones to stone him for blasphemy. Before Abraham was born, I am. Deliberately, Christ is claiming to be God. Then in John chapter 10, verse 30, Jesus says, I am and the Father are one. No misunderstanding, they didn't think, oh, I see, this guy's a Hindu, he thinks everybody's part of God, so he's claiming that he were all a part of God. No, no, no. Jesus was a monotheistic Jew who understood God is one. The Shema of Israel, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbors yourself. And very deliberately, Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Once again, no misunderstanding, the Jews pick up stones to stone him for blasphemy. Then by his deeds, he obviously claimed to be God. Mark chapter 2, Jesus is teaching in a packed out house and all of a sudden the roof is ripped open and a man, a paralyzed man, is lowered on a mat to his feet. Jesus looks into the face of the paralyzed man and says, your sins are forgiven. Bingo. George, you got it. And then they got mad and they were confused. Bingo. And I found that so beautiful because he was trying to weigh that forgiving sins is way more powerful than raising a man who's crippled. Bingo. Precisely. You got it. By claiming to forgive the sins of a man he'd never probably seen before, Jesus is claiming to be God. Because only God can ultimately forgive my sins. If I do you dirty, yes, I have to ask you for forgiveness. But ultimately, I have to ask God for forgiveness. Because when I do dirty to you, I'm saying, hey, God, when you made George, lousy job. I can trample all over him. Baloney. When God made George, he did a wonderful job. And if I denigrate him by tap dancing all over his face, I am guilty and I need to ask George for forgiveness, but I also ultimately better ask God for forgiveness.